Alrighty. I found this really neat uh, circuit simulation uh, software for, for Android and iOS. Never used it before whatsoever. Actually, I've never used any kind of circuit simulation software before. I've been wanting to get into it, but after making this uh, the video about the key in circuit, I thought, let me uh, try this out. This software is pretty cool, so you can actually see what is happening in this software. Now, this is looking in a pure circuit diagram form. Okay, as you can see, Here's our relay, okay? As you can see, there's the coil for the relay right there. All right. This is our snubber diode, the diode that's gonna be across the relay's coil, okay? This right here is just our voltage source, our hot bus. We got it at 12 volts. And of course, our hot bus, we've got it grounded. Just kinda look at it like a battery. Here's our switch right here, our on and off switch for our amplifier, which will be feeding voltage to our relay, okay? So that's what this whole section is right here. All right. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I've never used this part of my phone before. All right. Here is our transistor. Okay, that's our NPN transistor right there. This is our emitter. On the NPN, just look at the arrow. That's the emitter to ground. Okay, that's our emitter to ground. This is our collector right here, which is going through our relay. This is our base right here. All right, this is our 22 to 47 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. All right, and here's our diode. This is just written out in schematic form, okay? All right, now the software didn't give me no AM radio signal, but it did give me an FM. So here's our FM signal. I've got it set to 27 megahertz, okay? So this is our radio signal. And I've got the carrier actually set at 27.205 megahertz. So this signal is going to be flowing through our coupling capacitor, our 15 picofarad capacitor. This is our 15 picofarad capacitor, okay? Like I said, this is our diode. This is our transistor. Here's our electrolytic. It's going to be smoothing out the pulsating DC relay. Our on and off switch for our box, our voltage source. All right. Our AC signal. From our radio is going to be coming up this direction in series through this diode, okay? Let's do it like this. This will be kind of neat. Let's just act like that's an AC signal because you got two parts to it, right? Positive and negative. Just, just, you know. So here's what's going on half of the signal. It's going to go this way to ground. While our other half, at this point, which is pulsating, is going to flow this direction and turn our transistor on. Okay? And it's pulsating. But thankfully, because of this
small electrolytic capacitor it's going to smooth it down and the electrons flow through the relay and of course this switch will be turned on and there you go pretty neat huh alright next I'm going to simulate this circuit and actually turn this bad boy on This is really cool. Alright, we're going to press play. I think i got to take it off writing. Hold on a second. How <laughs> do you stop this thing from freaking writing? No, oh, there we go. Alright, here we go. Alright. This is the circuit actually in operation now. And as you see, this switch is off. Okay, so the switch is turned off. But you can see this, the, this signal right here is oscillating 27,000 times a second. I believe it's a thousand. If, if, if you're looking at, at hertz, it'll be a million. But y'all, don't scold me too bad about that. I think it's 27,000 times a second. And you can see here where that signal's going to ground and you see here the transistor is being biased on alright so now we're going to take this switch and we're going to toggle it and turn it on and look at that <laughs> and what's pretty cool up here you can click on different different things and it will tell you the information on what's going on I still got to learn how, how to use this thing but I'm going to take a look at some videos on it but I just thought this would be pretty cool to show y'all you see it's on 12 volts and it tells you the amperage I guess that's going to be pulled from the actual voltage source let me click on this ground right here you can even see how much amperage is being sent to ground. And like if you're looking at this right here, the the collector voltage is 12 volts. It says the base collector is negative 12. I don't really understand what that means. The base emitter is all over the place. Uh, yeah, so I don't really understand what all, <laughs> all that means. If we click on the relay... It's showing zero amps because I guess we're not sending anything through the relay. Uh, yeah, really cool. This diode right here, it's all over the place. I don't know, man. Like I said, it's the first time I ever used this. But I thought I'd make this quick video just to let y'all check it out. I thought it was really neat. I'm trying to, trying to press the stop button here. We'll see y'all, old gatekeeper. Bye bye.